No tomorrow. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> you are fabulous. All right, so today's video, I'm bringing y'all another Dollar Tree haul. Now I know I've done several of these like in the last couple weeks, but I have just been finding so much really cool stuff at the Dollar Tree and I just want to share it with you so y'all can be on the lookout for this stuff. Um, I actually went out of town recently and I was able to go to the Dollar Tree while I was out and about and found some really neat stuff that I have actually not found in my own Dollar Tree. So I just thought this would be a little fun, like get together and hang out. I'll just show y'all what I got and we'll just chit chat. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first up, I'm just going to go ahead and like right out of the gate show y'all the coolest thing that I personally think that I found at the Dollar Tree recently. And that is Buffalo Check and Leopard Vinyl. I can't see if I'm actually showing you. But anyways, so these I found in the Dollar Tree, like I said, out of town. Um, I picked up two of each just because I wasn't totally sure how well it would work. Um, considering the fact that it is only a dollar, but for real, y'all, how stinking cool is that? And even if you don't have a Cricut, this is pretty cool to have on hand because you can cut this out and use this as the background for something or, you know, um, just you can Mod Podge it on, but it's sticky. It's already got a, an adhesive backing, so you don't really need to Mod Podge it. So that's what I'm saying, but something that you would typically mod podge on you could use the vinyl in in place of that and that would be really cool so i just thought these were super neat never ever have i seen these before now i have seen some vinyl in the dollar tree but definitely not the buffalo plaid and also the leopard like how stinking cool is that yes very cool okay so next up oh Okay, so this is something that I just personally, I pick up a couple of these every time I go to the Dollar Tree. I like to clean with these. I think they're perfect for dusting, doing windows, um, mirrors, stuff like that. They're just perfect. So I get the um, Scrub Buddies Microfiber Cleansing Towels. There's two, yeah, two per pack and they're perfect. And you know, if you've got a really messy job and you mess it up, throw it away. It costs you 50 cents chunk it. It's no big deal. But otherwise, you can throw these in the washing machine and they come back out perfect. I mean, they're they're actually really good quality um, towels. And to buy three of these, like at the Dollar General Store even, I think it's about $5. So, you're getting a super good deal on, on these um, microfiber, microfiber towels. <laughs> Here we go. I can't talk. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I do enjoy using those. Um, I also found, so Dollar Tree has just recently put out their scarves and like their knit hats and gloves and whatever, like all their winter stuff. Well, y'all, if I didn't find leopard and buffalo plaid, like how stinking cool. Y'all, these are so cute. And this is quite a bit of material. I mean, it's, it's a good length. And obviously, you could save this and use it as a scarf. That would be super cute. Especially the, I love, love, love. Y'all know me. I love the cheetah. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. But these would also be very cool to use. Um, once again, just like with the um, vinyl, they would be pretty cool to use as just like the backdrop of something or um, to outline something with it or, you know, whatever. So these are really cool. I'm thinking about doing a... Um, like a collage of Christmas trees and doing one with the buffalo plaid, one with the leopard, maybe one traditional red and black. I mean, red and um, green, but I, I, something like that. So y'all will definitely be seeing a DIY soon with the, um, the scarves. Those are super cute. That cheetah print, that's new this year. It was for me. I've never seen that one before. And I've seen like the brown colored cheetah print, but definitely not this, this gray and black. That's super cute. Okay, um, let's see. What else did I pick up? So, I picked up some random stuff that I just needed for my stash. Um, nothing, like, spectacular, but I will share each of those things with you because I do like to keep them in my stash. I think they're super handy. And that is the Dollar Tree's um, wood planks. So, I picked up two packs of each. 
These are super duper handy. You never know when you're gonna need like just a little scrap piece of wood and these are just so perfect for that. You can make the bottoms of stuff with these. You can make, um, I mean, there's they're like endless possibilities with these little wood planks. So these are a great thing to just have on hand. I keep them all the time. Also, I think that it's a really good deal on their um, craft sticks. So these are like the regular size ones. And I have seen other YouTubers find the jumbo sized um, craft sticks at the Dollar Tree. I personally have never seen those before, but I, I do know that they do carry those sometimes. I also picked up, and I've never used these before. I see a lot of people use them. Um, I'm gonna try them this year for, for some couple DIYs that I have for Christmas. But that is the copper wire LED um, fairy lights that they're carrying now at the Dollar Tree. I believe they require two AA batteries, so no big deal. Um, I, they're, I think these will work out really nicely though. These are, these are perfect for just small projects. I believe it's got like 12 lights on it, so it's not just super long. Um, not a lot of cord to it, you know what I mean? So kind of perfect for your smaller little uh, things. Um, I picked up this. <laughs> Has absolutely nothing to do with DIYing, but it smelled so good, oh my goodness. And it's a heat protector. So I actually used this today on my hair. It smells amazing, first of all. Let's just put that out there. It's got tropical coconut oil um, repairing technology used with heat styling tools. So I used this before I used my little, um, like I have a hair dryer brush thing. It's like a, like you brush your hair and blow dry it at the same time. Anyway, so I actually put it on before I did that and it, I, it worked out pretty good. I mean, I think it worked pretty good for a dollar. Come on now. Oh, we lost our light. Hold up, one, hold that thought. Okay, we're back. I don't know what is going on with my overhead light. It just keeps popping off. I think it's getting hot or something. I'm not totally sure. That's probably not a good thing. And then something else that is completely not related to DIYs, but I thought was a pretty good idea. We, if you um, have been part of the channel for any amount of time, you know that I have puppies at my house right now. We actually had 10. We're down to three at this point. But, um, you know, feeding them and trying to give everybody a bowl and all that stuff, it just becomes a mess. So, I picked up two of the, I believe these are actually like oil pans. Drain pan. Like a drip pan for when you're changing your oil. But I picked up two of these and they're huge, first of all. Pretty good depth. I thought these were perfect for dog bowls. I mean, especially when you've got that many dogs eating at one time. So, I thought those would be perfect. I'm going to try those out. I'll let you know how that works. They probably are going to chew them up into a million pieces when they're done eating. But, hey, at least we'll get one good meal out of it. Maybe. All right. Moving right along. So, back to the DIYs. I found um, all of these frames, y'all. And how stinking cute. Hang on. So, these frames already have the distressed they're painted white they already have the distressed look to them super cute now these are the five by sevens very very pretty i probably will use several of these in my house just like they are because i like the look of them um but i also picked up enough that i could do some christmas diys with them so i think that that will work out really good but i love that they they're coming out with the already distressed looking stuff like dollar tree gets it they get it, y'all. <laughs> okay, something else that I grabbed that I thought would be so pretty for Christmas, and that is the glitter frames. Too pretty. Y'all, these are gorgeous. Like, they're so, so pretty. And they're not glittery to the point that, like, when you unwrap them, the glitter comes off on your hand. I lied. I totally lied. It's all over my hand. <laughs> Anyway, so maybe the glitter does come off. I thought that it would stay on a little better than that. I don't know. Let's open one. I don't know. I think that came off of something else. That's actually red glitter. So I'm thinking that that came off of this. How beautiful is that? We'll get back to that in just a second. But I really don't think that these frames like shed. The, no, they don't. They don't. It's very well made. Like it's not coming off of there. So, yeah, these are cute, and I thought a little tiered tray with the gold, 
and then decorate it up for Christmas. I thought that would be super pretty. So I'm sure that y'all will be seeing a DIY like that pretty soon. I'm giving away all my, all my ideas here. Anyways, I love it though. I hope that you guys get inspiration. And honestly, if you are new to this channel and you enjoy DIYs, you enjoy um, just crafting on a budget. And honestly, if you just enjoy a good mood and positive vibes, then definitely subscribe to this channel because that is what I want to give my viewers. I don't want to just be a tutorial channel. I want to brighten your day and just give you a little something to smile about. I mean, I feel like everybody needs that. So why would I not take this platform and just go with it? And my light went off again. Y'all, what is wrong with my dang light? Hang on. Okay, we're back. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, I just want to be a positive experience for my viewer. There you go. That's what I want. So if you are not subscribed, I would love for you to do that. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And also hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right. So I throwed that plug in there. How about that? All right. Now back to these. Y'all, these are so stinking pretty. Oh my gosh. They had these, um, and they are shedding, like they, the glitter is coming off of it. So I'll probably give them a good spray of, um, some kind of lacquer or, um, like, um, just a, a clear varnish type thing. But these are so stinking pretty. I'm in love with these. I'm actually going to hang these kind of, you know, one up here, one down here, one up here, one down here, like that, staggered. I'm actually going to hang them from my overhead light that's above my kitchen table during Christmas. So, y'all get a Christmas tour. I will definitely do a, a Christmas tour for y'all. So, y'all will be able to see exactly what I'm talking about, but it will be, it's going to be super cute. Um, oh, something else really cool that I found. Now, this is not Christmas related, but it is Dollar Tree, and that is their uh, white nautical rope. Normally, it's like 6.5 feet, I think. This is 11.1 feet. Check that out. So, actually, it's a little bit smaller around. You know what I mean? Like, it's not as thick, but it's not that much of a difference. So, I thought this was a really good deal. For a dollar, you're getting 11 feet. That's, I mean, to me, that's a pretty good deal. I actually picked up four of them just to have in my stash. Like, I don't actually have a DIY that... I just want to do right this minute. You know what I mean? But for a dollar, I feel like that was something I definitely wanted to have in my stash and just keep, you know. All right, moving right along. So, oh, look here. Look at the wrapping paper that the Dollar Tree's got right now. How pretty is this? Love, love, love this. And once again, this wrapping paper, just like with the, um, y'all, I got a hair. <laughs> stuck to my lipstick. <laughs> okay, maybe I got it. Um, just like with the, the vinyl and the scarves and whatever, you can use this as like the backdrop of an, a project. This would be really, really pretty like that or cover uh, some of the Dollar Tree like wood cut out trees. Just cover them in the paper. That would be super pretty. Um, and I like to do like maybe my front door, just wrap it like a present literally wrap the entire front door like a present ribbon and all and this is gorgeous like check that out i love the deer i think that's too cute and then obviously i had to pick up the little red truck because everybody needs a little red truck in their life so anyways all right so that's pretty cool they've got lots and lots of of um wrapping paper like all kinds of designs so you'll really love that um let's see so i picked up several of these little small the words in there. Yeah. I picked up several of these little wooden cutouts. I've got the trees, some snowflakes, and then also the word Mary with a little deer at the end. How cute is that? But I just picked up a few of those. And then some of the, this is the um, snow that I like to use during the, during the holidays. I think it is so pretty. It really, it, you can work with it really well, like with Mod Podge or hot glue or whatever. It sticks really good. Um, and it's just pretty. It's got that like iridescent stuff in it. So I think this is prettier than the little foam beads 
the little balls. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is, I think this is a lot prettier than that. So anyways, that's pretty cool. Picked up a couple more of the infamous trees, the Dollar Tree trees. I want to make some swags. And so I thought I would take like two, I want to make two swags, one for each side of my um, television that's up on the wall. So what I want to do is take two of those trees, flatten them out, put them together like this, and then put my um, decorations in the middle. Probably going to do that on the channel. I will probably show you all that DIY, but just to give you an idea, like you don't have to use it as a tree. You can, you can make lots of different things with the, the tree itself. So that's pretty cool. I did pick up four of those for that um, DIY that I'm wanting to do. I picked up some more of the red berries. Now these right here, the ones with the frosted look to them, those are my favorite by far. I think they're so pretty. They are so Christmassy for sure. Love these. But then even the red berries by themselves, they're just such a pretty red color. Like they are, they're gorgeous. They really are pretty. Super, super pretty. Okay, um, can I say pretty one more time? Just saying. <laughs> oh gosh, y'all, look at this, hold up. So I found these boxes and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but they are too stinking cute. Check out these. Uh, Merry and Bright Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, pick your own. How cute are these, y'all? Ah, I just love them. You can actually kind of stack them and make like a, I don't know, kind of like a topiary with just the boxes. Or you could just put florals in them and sit them, you know, sit them out and just put your flowers inside the box. That would be super cute just like that because the box itself is going to, you know, be the star of the show. So that would be really, really cute. I love those boxes. Um, I also picked up this. This was something new that I've never seen before. It is a balloon... It's like yard balloon sticks. That's what it says. So I guess you blow up the balloon, tie it to the little thing, and then you can stick the stick down in the yard. But I don't, I'm not going to stick balloons all over my yard. I picked it up for the sticks itself. Now they're plastic, but look at the length of them. Look at the width. Pretty good size width. These are perfect for a um, lantern. I'm totally going to make a lantern out of this right here. I cannot wait to do this on my channel because this is gonna be really cool <laughs> and super simple. So that's pretty cool. Just something different, totally outside of the box. Um, yeah, that just, I just saw the stick part of it and I was like, oh, perfect. Okay, so anyways, moving right along. I did pick up a few of the coffee mugs. I have a Cricut video coming out really, really soon. It will be up um, maybe like the middle of November. And I wanted to do something with the coffee mugs. I thought this would be really cute. Maybe even do it like as a gift, you know? But something else that you could do with these coffee mugs, because they are cute and they're Christmassy looking just with the red. You could do like the Dollar Tree stickers. You could put those on there and decorate them up. You could tie just a simple ribbon around it and then, you know, place a little flower in it if you wanted to. That would be cute. But also you can take the Dollar Tree white candles melt those down pop them in here and then you've got a cute little coffee mug candle so that would be that would be really cute i think i still have the hair on my lip oh i got it oh my gosh <laughs> 20 minutes into the video and i finally got the hair off my lip anyways okay let's keep going so i found these little houses i thought these were darling I picked up one of each. Oh, gracious. I'm dropping them. Hang on. Lord have mercy. I can't get them in my hands right. So I got one of each of these. Too cute. Not totally sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Like if I'm going to redo them or just kind of add to them a little bit. But I thought they were really cute. Definitely good bones to work with. You know what I mean? Like definitely very good to work with. And speaking of houses... I picked up three of these. 
because I'm going to take the embellishments off, sand these down, and totally make little houses out of these. This is the perfect size. Now, Dollar Tree actually right now is selling, um, if you can find it. I have only found it one time, and that was it. But they're selling a lot of different, like, random pieces of um, wood right now. And they are selling a house-shaped piece of wood. Pretty good thickness. It's a good little piece of wood. I actually did some of the houses on a fall video that I have. Um, I'll try to link that in the description box. But anyways, um, I just used those little houses and painted them, tied some ribbon around it or some twine, I think, added a little bit of greenery, and that was it. They're super simple and super, super cute. So that's a that's an idea. If you can't find the ones that Dollar Tree is actually making right now, like the actual wood houses, then these right here are a very good alternative. Very, very good alternative. All right. I also found some of these bottle brushes, bottle brush trees. So pretty. I did get all gold. I think they're so, so pretty. I'm really thinking about doing like black, red, and gold for my Christmas decor, I think. I don't know. I'll have to get all my stuff out from last year and kind of see what I've got and just play with it, I guess. But I will give y'all a tour, a grand Christmas tour <laughs> when I'm done. But for now, I'm thinking going kind of go, go with the gold. I think these are so pretty, very pretty, and especially for a dollar. Like, that's not bad. That's really not a bad deal. All right, let's see. Um, picked up a couple more of these just to have on hand, a little merry and bright cutouts. Now, these are cute to have, but you got to be careful with them because they are super duper thin, but they are, they're cute to work with. Um, found some tags. Now, these are cute just like they are. I think they're darling. I love the deer. I think they're cute, but they've obviously got the glitter and whatnot, um, but I'll pick these up because, let me pull back a little bit. They're not as big as the other tags that you normally get from the Dollar Tree. They're about a medium size, I would say, and I thought that was kind of cool because it's a little different. Um, I just did some tags, door tags, um, in my last Christmas DIY video. I will link that in the description box if you want to see that. It's the very last one, so watch it all the way through. But um, they turned out, they turned out great. Oh my gosh, they looked so stinking good. It's their Buffalo check and Merry Christmas and whatever. I don't know. Just go watch the video. Do that. It, they're super cute. Okay, something else that I found at the Dollar Tree that I've never seen before was this. This little home sign. How cute is this? This is so something cute to work with. Guys, you could get this and do nothing more than take, where's my berries? A few of these berries, not the whole stick, but literally just trim off a few berries, pop those in around the wreath that's already on there, and you've got a cute Christmas little sign. I mean, super simple. That is super duper simple. Maybe add some ribbon at the top for the hanger or something. Yeah, super simple. I love the the home on it. I think that's perfect. I, I was very excited to find that. Um, let's see. I picked up some more of the... Um, these little trees. I love working with these. I think they're so pretty. There's lots and lots and lots of stuff you can do with those. Those are super handy to have. I also picked up several of the um, the berry garland. I got a couple different colors. I think I got white, gold, and red. I don't know where the gold is. It must still be in there. Anyways, this is a good deal. Hobby Lobby sells garland like this and it is more like you get more on the roll not totally sure on exactly like this one's nine feet i can't remember if the one at hobby lobby is 12 maybe the one at hobby lobby is 12 feet but y'all it's like 4.99 this is a dollar hello dollar yeah so i'm gonna go with the dollar trees berry garland like i'm definitely sticking with dollar tree on that one because i just feel like it's a better deal maybe it's not but I don't know. Anyways, I think it's better. All right. I also picked up these jars. 
Now, I used some of these in a fall video to make pumpkins out of, and they turned out so stinking cute, y'all. Oh my gosh. But they, I wanted some more because I want to make ornaments out of these. Not actually ornaments that you hang from the tree, but just an ornament that you would like sit out on the shelf or whatever. I think that would be so stinking cute. Super simple to do. Literally just paint this or Mod Podge it or however you want to decorate your ornament. Use this as the metal part on the ornament and then put you a little loop up here. Y'all, so super simple. Simple and super cute. Yeah, you could also, my daughter's sitting over on the couch like, y'all, there's like real life going on behind the scenes here. Anyways, she's sitting on the couch and she said, you can make a snowman. You could totally make a snowman out of these, y'all. See there, even, she even knows. Um, I also picked up several of these candles. Now, I'm not sure if I want to use these in the Cricut video and, you know, take the wrapper off of them because the, the wrapper comes off. And then you're left still with the red candle. And this would be super cute, merry and bright or Noel, joy, believe. Y'all, there's a hundred words you could put on these. And those are really cute. That, you know, you could use that as just kind of filler. Let's pop in a couple little places that you're missing something. Just a simple little candle, super cute. Super simple and super cute. But I also bought these because I wanted to make some candles. I don't see them. <laughs> I did have some little jars. I don't know where they are. But anyways, I had some little jars that I would like to make some Christmas candles out of. And I'm gonna use these to do it. So I'm gonna melt these down take the wick that's actually in this candle, put it in the bottom of my jar, you know, maybe use a skirt, skirt, y'all, everybody makes fun of me. Y'all make fun of me in the comments for the way that I say this, but anyways, a bamboo skewer. You're gonna take that, wrap your wick around it, place it across the top so that you can hold it in one spot and then simply uh, melt this down and pour that over into your jar. Then you've got red, wax like super cute i think it would be really cute and really simple to do y'all like the what i'm trying to show y'all is that you can pick up such inexpensive items and do very very minimal work super simple and come out with some gorgeous stuff i mean you can i promise you you can okay so let's see i also found these little candle warmers, I got a really cute idea for these. Um, <clears throat> will probably be coming up in my next video, so I'm not going to share that one with y'all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that one a secret. So, these are super cute. They got the snowflake on them. Obviously, you can put the tea light in the back, but I thought these were darling. That's something new. I haven't seen that. And then I picked up one of these, the little wooden... I'm actually gonna take this apart. So I'm not gonna use it like that. I'm not even sure what it's for besides putting maybe flowers or greenery in. But if you just pop it off, then you've got the shape of the tree. And like I was telling y'all before, I really wanna make a, um, like a collage of trees, different sizes, different shapes, and then do like Buffalo Plaid, um, traditional, leopard, whatever. Kinda like I did with the, um, pumpkins back during one of my fall videos i did like a little collage type thing and i just did different colors and whatnot put it all together and y'all it was stinking cute it was all right now let's see we're almost to the end oh well i guess last but not least because we are at the end i found these little notebooks and i'm a notebook junkie i really am like i buy paper and pen every time I go somewhere, for heaven's sakes. I don't know why, but I'm like super addicted to paper and pen. I write everything down, but I have tons and tons of notebooks. Like, I just love them. I don't know. Even when I was a little girl, I can remember wanting to get like nice notebooks and pens and markers, and I just love that kind of stuff. So anyways, but I found these and I thought they were so pretty. They've got little Bible verses on them. Grow in grace, Second Peter. And then you've got, um, perhaps this is the moment. Wait, let me turn this one around and read it for you because it's so pretty. I just love this verse and it just hits home for me. Perhaps this is the moment for which you were created. 
Esther 414. You never know. Maybe right now in your life is exactly where you're supposed to be. I'm just saying. Take it as it is. Make the best of it. Be happy with what you have. Be grateful that God has blessed you with what you have. Enjoy that. And I promise you, you will see abundance. It will happen. I promise. All right. Let's not have a sermon. Anyway, so <clears throat> that was all for today. That was all I found. I just wanted to share these things with y'all. I wanted to hang out for a minute, um, catch up with y'all for a little bit this morning. And I just thought this would be fun. So I hope that y'all saw some things that you liked. If you did like this video, remember, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments in the comment section. Also, share this with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe. That would be awesome. And hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right, guys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.